Hello everybody, Rob here from Average Hobby, and today I've got another review, unboxing, and painting video. So, this one's a little different. Um, still Warhammer 40k, but um, local hobby store had this for 20 bucks. So I thought, eh, why not? Um, what it is is Valerian and Aaliyah. The Talons of the Emperor Black Library Celebration. So, um, I had the 2023 celebration uh, thing for, I think it was Min Minkalesque, I believe it was. Um, the 2021 was these two. They're in the, if we turn it over here. Uh, let's see here. Shield, if I bring this closer. Uh, Shield, Captain Valerian, and Witch Seeker Alea are available as part of the Black Library Celebration 2020. Follow their latest adventures in the novels of the, was it Watchers of the Throne? The Emperor's Legion and Watchers of the Throne, The Regent's Shadow by Chris Wright. So yeah, so this was uh, just sitting there and tons of dust on it. Um, so I was like, 20 bucks? Sure, the person, they I, I'm assuming they had it marked down because they were just trying to get rid of it. Um, and it was just sitting there like literally on the shelf like this. So you couldn't really see it. And it just said here, it just said tw uh, 20 bucks. And I was like, ooh, that's kind of small. What is it? I turned it over. I'm like, oh, I wanted to get these. So what we're going to do is we're going to open it up. We're going to take a look. In the second part, I'm going to talk about how easy or hard it was to get them put together and sanded and glued and all that stuff. And then the third part will be them painted up, how easy it was to paint them up. And uh, yeah, so let's do it, shall we? Ooh. So it looks like it's one sprue. Okay. Now this is rules included. I'll have to take a look. Oh, I'm assuming that's the rules right there. Movement. Okay. So obviously these are 10th edition rules. So I'll have to look to see what their 10th, or the, sorry, 9th edition rules. I have to look at what their 10th is. Uh, let's see here. Valerian is only like, what, 10 pieces? So, not too hard to probably put him together. Looks like he doesn't have... I've, I've, I was thinking maybe an alternate helmet. Um, I might swap out the helmet still. I have some Custodes helmets. So I might swap out the helmet. And then there is her... Yeah, she's like five or six pieces as well. Not big deal. And there's the rules. Well, there's the French rules. Live in Canada, got to do everything in English, French, and Spanish, and then the Dutch, or as a friend of mine calls them, Swamp Germans. Um, and then the Italians. The Italian language, okay. So basically this is 50% or 60% rules and uh, actually I'm going to say 25% yeah not much in regards to uh, instructions but yeah so there we go the Valerian and Aaliyah or LA whatever um, Black Library Celebration model so in the next episode um or the next part of this episode um i'll be right back and we will have the models all put together both of them i really like the bases so i might not actually put them together immediately on their bases what i might be doing is just kind of temporarily gluing them with uh, some sticky tack um or with the the tacky glue the hobby tack that i have um get them on their bases and then uh prime them um, and then take them off and then super glue them onto here after I've uh, worked on the bases because it looks like those just go right on there, which is pretty nice. Uh, so with that in mind, I will be right back. And we're back. <coughs> Sorry about that. So here we go. So this is Valerian and Aaliyah. We'll get her looked at first. Nice little model, nice little kind of lean back pose a little bit here it's pretty good 
a little bit of a pain in the butt. <coughs> Scurry. I have some issue with some acid reflux this afternoon. I don't know why. Um, but yeah. Had some issues with the arms. You can kind of see a bit of a, a gap there. Um, there's, an, there's an actual little pinhole where the end of that sword goes into, which was nice to help line up the arms. I did the arms and the sword as one kind of little sub piece and then glued the arms onto the body. It does, and the instructions is arms then the sword, but I figured it'd be a lot easier than it was. Um, I like the pose. Oh, uh, yeah. Not bad. Like I said, a little bit of a pain in the butt to put together. Um, I figure it's mostly around the 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 head as well. The head was a, at a weird angle as well. But yeah, nonetheless, it was <coughs> pretty easy to put together. This gentleman, on the other hand, Valerian. Okay, so a bit harder to put together, especially because of these uh, olive wreaths or whatever the hell they're called. I don't remember. Um, they were a little bit of a pain. I had to use my tweezers. Um, he doesn't quite sit flush with the ground, which is a good thing. Um, I did end up gluing the two of them both to their bases. Um, I do love the base, though. The base is amazing. Um, overall, yeah, he was pretty easy. <coughs> um, the hardest part was just doing these here as per usual with the um, the custodies and uh, yeah and then obviously the wreaths but other than that it wasn't, wasn't actually that hard to put together that much of a pain in the butt it's pretty easy um, I also used a new tool my little pen um, my little pen sander um, I'm gonna do a video about that um, and the reason why I'm using it, mostly it's due to my rotator cuff issues. Lots of, lots of years in the army, destroyed the rotator cuffs. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I really like this model. So what I'm going to do is I'll cut back in the next part of the video where we will have both of these guys painted up, or this guy and this lady painted all up in their gold and black and blue and red and yellow and green and... All the other amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat uh, custodies. With that in mind, I'll see you back in the next part of the episode. Be right back. And we're back. Here we are. They are painted up and looking good. So, a few things. Number one, I am loving these bases. I My mind is blown. Well, not mine is blown, but I am very happy with these bases. Um, here, I'll... Give you a little look see uh, his skin turned it a little darker than I wanted it to so I'm probably gonna go back later on and lighten it up a little bit um, his hair turned out really well his hair turned out really nice though I like that um, the gold accents on the gun are pretty nice um, overall very very good model overall I, I actually I have to admit um, I'm I actually do like this model quite a bit um, she looks sick <laughs> skin completely went all when it was wet it looked so nice and then as it dried out I went oh um, couple things her torso. Uh, I don't think you can really see. No, luckily enough, it, you can't make it out even in uh, 4K. I um, had a little bit of a hard time just, like, scooshing her together. Um, color on the back, pretty nice. Um, I think she did pretty good. Uh, I wanted her pale, but I didn't want her, like, zombie green <laughs> so I'm gonna have to go back and lighten her skin up a little bit um, the sword hands I don't know if you can see no actually the way the knuckles are you can't see the the position well on this one you actually can um, where the knuckles are and then the figure extends so yeah they're 
In hindsight, it looks like a split between the knuckle armor, um, or at least the yeah the knuckle armor, and then the upper section of finger does look a little bit separate. Um, the model is amazing. Like I said, a little part hard to put together. Um, lining up the arms, lining the arms up, the sword. I was gonna say the knife, and this little hole right here, pretty hard to do. Um, if you followed the instructions, I did not quite follow the instructions. Um, I did the arms onto the. They, they, they should have done this too. They should have done this differently. They should have. What it is is the arms go down to the the knuckle here, and then it's the it's the sword. So the fingertips are on the sword part, and then you put the arms on, and then the you know the, the pauldrons. What they should have done is have the sword have the arms spread out a little further and have each um, part of the hilt that's the hilt um, I'm trying to remember what this part of the sword is called either way um, what the two little cross members of the sword are they should have plugged in on either side with the person's hand so the hand should have been like this and then you just into the side of the sword kind of like how the grenade launchers are in the old in um the old Cadian units, if you know what those are. Um, and even some heavy weapons, so you can just kind of plug in stuff. Uh, like the left the left arm is always holding, actually if I show it like this, it's it's holding, the left arm is always holding something with a little bit of a ball bearing, like a little bit of a ball joint. And then you just plug it into whatever the weapon is going to be. So you can hold it at multiple different angles. That would be the only issue with this, is that you might not be able to get them level um overall i have to say why can't why why don't more models come with bases like this why why don't they um i am loving these bases i need to i'm just getting back into the hobby over the last year so every model i paint i am painting with the theory of i'm going to be repainting it again in a couple years um, I'm starting to get back into dry brushing that's been pretty fun um, but yeah um, everything I'm painting is with the idea of hey down the road I'm gonna redo this again so you know I want to come up with a theme and having bases like this if you could just buy them would be amazing because I'd be like okay these are my custody bases done automatically um, if you could buy, like, pre-made marble, pre-made... Uh, I know there's some places you probably could buy them, but they're kind of expensive. Uh, but I know if, if Games Workshop on their mass scale could produce these things, then it would be, obviously, well, then again, there would be the, uh, what I like to call the uh, Games Workshop tax. Um, yeah, I think I've got to look somewhere to get some pre-made bases, maybe. I've got tons of stuff to, like, work on bases. My ba I, I really need to work on my base game, but yeah. Overall, like I said, these were amazing. These were awesome to paint. Um, I do love the... Whatever this is called. Sorry, whatever this is called here. Sorry, I'm, I'm using a different camera setup today, so usually my camera is in a different position. Um, yeah, it does look a little darker than it should be. I'm trying to, like, position the light in such a way. Um, but yeah, I really like this. I like the way the, the leather turned out. Um... Like I said, the face a little darker than I wanted it to. That's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, I am really happy with this model. I know it was a limited edition. And some people are probably like, No, you took it out of the box and out of the package. Now you can't sell it for more money. I got it for 20 bucks. I'm happy with it. Uh, I don't buy stuff to sit in a um, on a shelf for months and then or years and then resell it. That's what Lego is for. <laughs> But yeah, so there we go. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate appreciate you. Anything you, uh, you don't know what I'm saying here. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Appreciate you. You could have been watching anything else, but you're watching this. Um, if you're new to the channel, I hope I learned I earned a subscription or a like today. If not, maybe next time. With that in mind, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.